Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the history of the Australian men's national soccer team. Pull up a seat and let's start the discussion. Australia is a country with a population of about 25 million people. Australia takes up most of the continent of Oceania, and it is a large island off of southeastern Asia. The Australian National Soccer Federation is a part of the AFC, which is the Asian Soccer Confederation. It moved from the Oceania Confederation in 2006. Australia does not have a real home stadium and plays its home matches throughout the country. The sport of soccer in the National Federation has a complicated history in Australia. The first organization to form with the intention of governing soccer in the country was called the Commonwealth Football Association and it formed in December of 1911. In the century since this formation, the federation has dissolved and reformed under a bunch of different names. First it changed to the Australian Soccer Football Association, then it became the Australian Soccer Federation, then it was the Australian Soccer Association, then it was just Soccer Australia, before the current organization known as Football Federation Australia was formed in 2004. The Australian national team's nickname is the Socceroos, which is a hybrid word combining soccer and kangaroo. Soccer is the name of the sport in Australia, or at least it was the name for many years. There's been a crusade against it in recent years, and kangaroo is a native animal to Australia. The symbol of the FFA, which stands for the Football Federation of Australia, is a spiralized looking circle with a cluster of stars. The stars are the constellation of the Southern Cross, which is the most well-known constellation pattern in the Southern Hemisphere. It was a symbol of Australia and is depicted on the country's national flag. The kits worn by Australia for the 2018 World Cup will have this symbol in between a kangaroo on the left and an emu on the right. Above the crest is a seven-pointed star. The kangaroo, emu, and seven-pointed star come from the Commonwealth of Australia's coat of arms, first granted in 1908. The kangaroo and emu are native animals to Australia, and the seven-pointed star represents the six states of Australia plus its territories. Including the 2018 World Cup, Australia will have participated at five World Cup Finals tournaments. The country's best ever finish was 14th place at the 1974 World Cup. From a continental competition perspective, Australia has participated in both the Oceania Nations Cup and the AFC Asian Cup. They have participated in six Oceania Nations Cups, or Oceania Cups, that was its name before it changed, and three Asian Cups. The country's best ever finish at the Oceania Nations Cup was first four times. They won it in 1980, 1996, 2000, and 2004. And from an Asian Cup perspective, Australia won it in 2015. Australia qualified for the 2018 World Cup by finishing third in Group B of Asian World Cup qualification. They then won a playoff series against Syria before winning another playoff series against Honduras. They have been placed into Group C for the 2018 World Cup group stage. I'd like to highlight five of Australia's best historical players in this section. Johnny Warren was part of the 1974 World Cup team that was Australia's first to qualify for a World Cup. He was an incredible leader and earned 62 caps in addition to being inducted into the Australian Sports Hall of Fame. He is also well known for his commitment to growing the sport in Australia after his playing days ended. Harry Kuhl is probably the most talented soccer player ever to come from Australia. He only won 56 caps and injuries prevented him from reaching his full potential, but he's the most creative Australian player ever. Mark Viduka is one of the most clinical and effective goal scorers produced by Australia. He captained the national team at the 2006 World Cup and enjoyed a successful career all over Europe. He was known for having a temper and could be petulant at times, but his talent was unmistakable. Mark Schwarzer was a great goalkeeper who had a 20-year national team career, stretching from 1993 to 2013. He played in two World Cups and was twice named Australian Footballer of the Year. And finally, Tim Cahill is probably the greatest soccer player from Australia. He may not be the most talented or strongest or best player, but his determination and drive have seen him succeed throughout his career. 
At 38 years old, he still plays as an attacker for the Socceroos. He's the country's all-time leading goal scorer as an attacking midfielder and is regarded in England where he played his, the majority of his club career as one of the fiercest competitors. I've included him here as a historic player, but he is still active on the team. Some current players to watch out for at the 2018 World Cup. The star player is going to be Aaron Moy, who currently plays as a midfielder for Huddersfield Town in England. And a breakout player to keep your eye on is Matthew Lecky, who is a 27-year-old attacker for Hertha Berlin in Germany. Though he's not a young player, he's flown mainly under the radar during his European career and could be a breakout star for the Socceroos at this tournament. The Socceroos have two main rivals, New Zealand and Japan. The rivalry with New Zealand is generally more of a friendly, broader sporting rivalry, including the sports of rugby, cricket, and others. The two countries used to be the dominant squads in the Oceania Confederation before Australia left to join the Asian Confederation. With that move, the rivalry on the pitch has diminished a bit as the sides don't really meet as often. Anytime that national teams do meet, though, it is a cause to get the rivalry juices flowing again. Australia's rivalry with Japan is a relatively recent one. It's only come about since Australia joined the Asian Confederation in 2006. The two countries have met a handful of times in important matches over the last decade or so that has really helped this rivalry grow. They were drawn into the same World Cup qualifying group for the 2018 cycle, with both ending up qualifying for the tournament. That has also aided this budding rivalry. The country's all-time record appearance holder is Mark Schwarzer with 109 caps. Tim Cahill, who has 104 caps and is still playing at time of recording, could eclipse this record in the not-too-distant future. Speaking of Tim Cahill, the country's all-time record goal scorer is Tim Cahill with 50 goals at time of recording, and again, he could add to this tally. An interesting fact about Australia is that up until 2005, the sport of soccer was called soccer in Australia. In 2005, the National Federation began formally calling the sport football like most of the rest of the world. Even with the formal name change, the national team's nickname has remained the Socceroos and both names of soccer and football are used for the sport in Australia. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Australia men's national team. If you have anything else to add to our discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!